Exactly 120 years ago, in this very city of Chicago, a World's Fair dubbed the World's Columbian Exposition was held. Running for six months and attracting nearly 26 million visitors. Conceived as a celebration of the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the New World in 1492, the fair had a profound effect on architecture, the arts, Chicago's self-image, and American industrial optimism. The Columbian Exposition was witness to many firsts, such as the first commemorative coin and commemorative stamp set issued by the U.S. Mint and Post Office, respectively. The clasp lock, a clumsy slide fastener and forerunner to the zipper, and a successful demonstration in America of the safety and reliability of alternating current, which won the contest with direct current to earn the contract to illuminate the fair. One of the most iconic innovations to emerge from the Columbian Exposition was undoubtedly the Ferris wheel, so named after its 32-year-old designer and builder, George Washington Gale Ferris, Jr., an engineer educated at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. He was the senior partner in a firm specializing in building steel bridges. Responding to the challenge for American civil engineers to create a feature to rival what the Eiffel Tower had been at the Paris Exposition four years earlier, Ferris presented his idea, a giant wheel, 264 feet high, that would turn slowly and smoothly, carrying over 2,000 passengers in 36 cars. His ideas were derided, and other engineers proclaimed that his wheel could not be built, or, if it could, it could not be operated. But after much persistence, he received the concession. Designing the wheel was no easy task. Stresses for such a structure had never been determined, so the theory of design had to be derived from first principles. With the mathematical calculations and the known qualities of iron and steel come together to actualize this unprecedented engineering feat, Ferris was confident they would. Another obstacle to overcome was the short time frame for construction, much of it during the winter months. But eventually, on March 20th, the 45 and a half foot, 89,320 pound axle, at the time the world's largest hollow forging, was hoisted atop the 140 foot high towers and following the installation of the cars and some trial rotations, the wheel opened to the public on June 21st. It became the fair's biggest attraction. Ferris had proven his naysayers wrong by doing something that had never been done before. He earned a reputation as one of the most daring entrepreneurs, optimists, and engineers of the 19th century in the United States. And his successful idea brightened the horizon for new technologies and inventions that could be possible with imagination and determination. Proving naysayers wrong is something powder metallurgy technologists have been doing right from the start. Doing things others said couldn't be done is precisely what allowed the technology to take hold and grow to come of age and take its place as a preferred metal forming solution. Winning parts in the 2013 Powder Metallurgy Design Excellence Awards competition aptly demonstrate that the technology is not resting on its laurels. While capitalizing on PM's traditional strengths, net shape capabilities that contribute to lean operations, energy and materials savings that enable more sustainable manufacturing, and significant economic advantages that have always been a hallmark. These exemplary components, fabricated via both conventional PM and metal injection molding, signal a push into new territories. While solidifying past gains, designers and fabricators are using creative solutions to overcome previous obstacles to penetrate new niches. They're using PM's flexibility to push forward new concepts and fine-tuning process controls to achieve results not possible before. So it is with pride that we now take the opportunity to celebrate the role design plays in the industry's success as we present the winners of the 2013 Design Excellence Awards competition, sponsored by MPIF. Seven grand prizes and eight awards of distinction have been given this year. 
We'll begin with the Awards of Distinction. Indo-US Mim Tech Private Limited, India, has won the first award of distinction in the automotive engine category for a fuel control gear segment made for Bosch Limited, India. The part goes into a fuel control device that regulates the entry of fuel into the engine. Converted from a machined part, the gear segment is fabricated via MIM from a low alloy steel at a savings of 80% over the previous method. Molded to net shape, the part requires no secondary operations. The fabricator delivers nearly 3 million pieces annually to the customer. GKN Center Metals LLC has won the other award of distinction in the automotive engine category for an aluminum rear cam cap. Used in a new automotive engine, the part serves a dual function of holding the camshaft in place as well as holding an auxiliary vacuum pump. This is the first time an aluminum cam cap with a unique tombstone geometry has been fabricated via press and center PM. Until the present redesign, in which the part is compacted inverted. This feature could only be formed via die casting. The part is formed to near net shape, with only the cover seal area being CNC machined by the fabricator. The award of distinction in the automotive transmission category was won by Burgess Norton Manufacturing Company for this ramp plate used in an electronically activated locking differential in European light commercial vehicles, improving on-demand vehicle traction in adverse conditions. Made using FL4400 pre-alloyed steel, the parts are pressed, sintered, soft turned, quenched and tempered, and then hard turned to generate concave back face features. The use of PM provided cost savings estimated at 20 to 40 percent over machining a component with similar functional performance. This inside hub adapter, made by ASCO Sintering Company for the Schlage brand of Ingersoll Rand Security Technologies, has earned an award of distinction in the hardware appliances category. The copper infiltrated PM steel part is used in modern, high-end electronic commercial and residential door lock systems, including the latest touchscreen devices. The part has seven functional levels that are pressed using three upper punches, two separate shelf levels, and two lower punches, and is pressed to net shape, with plating as the only secondary operation performed. Aggressive PM part design yielded 40% savings over alternative fabrication methods. Another award of distinction in the hardware appliances category has been given to FMS Corporation for this assembly consisting of rack, pinion and bushing used in a patented pergola louver system that allows the pergola to convert to a watertight shelter. The center hardened steel rack and five level pinion and the copper steel bushing are pressed to net shape with one cross drilled hole being the only secondary performed. Because of the great number of assemblies required in each louver system, the PM process gave the customer the only cost effective option, delivering an estimated 75% savings over the machined alternative. An actuator made by Parmatec Corporation and used in a toolless locking system that enables quick changing of a shotgun stock has won an award of distinction in the hand tools recreation category. Made via MIM of a low alloy steel, the complex design part required the use of stepped ejector pins on the sloped surface to allow for smooth ejection with no part damage. It has a 0.002 inch straightness requirement of the longer than one inch shaft and a tight profile requirement of the curved and sloped cosmetic surface. The part is molded and centered close to net shape and is coined in order to achieve repeatability. Choosing MIM over casting and machining the part provided a cost saving of 25 to 35 percent. This star shifter made by FMS Corporation for Polaris Industries, used in its Victory motorcycle transmission, has won another award of distinction in the hand tools recreation category. The first PM component to be used in this six-speed transmission 
It functions as the CAM interface in a mechanism that enables the engagement and shifting among all the gear combinations. This six-level part is made of center-hardened steel and is molded in a CNC servo-controlled multi-action hydraulic press. The customer estimates a 45% cost savings over the previously forged part. This stainless steel shuttle, used in a smart stapling device for both open and minimally invasive arthroscopic surgery, made by Polymer Technologies Incorporated, has won an award of distinction in the medical dental category. Fabricated via MIM, the shuttle incorporates two separate components that previously were combined via laser welding. Fabricating this very intricate, small and lightweight component, which weighs just five grams, presents many challenges, including the extremely thin walls, tight radii, and true position geometries, especially the two leg tips, which need to maintain their required strength and piercing sharpness. The shuttle is formed to nearly net shape, requiring only minimal secondary operations, reaming and then tapping the small hole, as well as providing proprietary centering fixtures to maintain the straightness callout for the parallel walls. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the winners of Awards of Distinction in the 2013 PM Design Excellence Awards competition. Please join with us in congratulating them as we invite them to come up to the stage to receive their awards.